Hello world, Coco Martech here and today we're going to review this very affordable smartphone called the Infinix Smart 5. Infinix is a Hong Kong based smartphone manufacturer and their smartphones are currently getting popular here in the Philippines since they're very affordable. So let's start our review and welcome to an episode of Titi with Coco Martech. And Phoenix Smart 5 is a budget-friendly phone which only costs 4,150 pesos or around 86 US dollars. I'll be putting an affiliate link in the description box just in case you want to order this phone online. After testing this phone for a couple of days, all I can say is not bad for the price. This phone is suitable for people on a very tight budget who's into browsing social media, who sometimes play mobile games, or people looking for a spare phone. So, before we dive into the specs of the phone, let's quickly unbox the Infinix Smart 5. The box is a green box and at first I thought this is a product of the Telco Smart since not only it is named Smart but also their primary color is green. You have some details at the front wherein they are highlighting the 5000mAh of battery which we will get into later. At the back you have some details about the phone which we will also discuss in the video. Inside you have of course the phone. some paperwork, a warranty card, a SIM ejector tool, a micro USB cable, a crystal case which is very generous of Infinix, and a screen protector which I rarely see from unboxings. Now we're done with the unboxing, let's move on to the specs of the phone. The Infinix Smart 5 has dimensions of 165.5 by 75.4 by 8.75 millimeters. It has a plastic frame and a plastic back which makes the phone really light, weighing at just 183 grams. The design of the back has a stylish gem cut style which is nice. I have the Quetzal Cyan color variant, you also have the Ocean Wave and the Midnight Black. The front is obviously made of glass and the display is something I really like. For the price, really. I was surprised with the display quality, it's a 6.6 .6 inch HD plus LCD screen with 261 pixels per inch with a water drop notch at the top. The colors are punchy and vibrant although you can see the pixels up close, it's a 720p screen. The display overall is a good experience when watching movies and playing games. One thing that it could improve on is the brightness since it's really hard to look at the phone in broad daylight with direct sunlight. The water drop notch is kind of outdated. It would be better if they made it a punch hole style, but hey, again, it's just 4,150 pesos. At the right side of the phone, you have the volume rocker and the power button. They're placed in the middle of the phone, a little bit unconventional, but they're easier to reach, so I liked it. At the left side of the phone, you have the dual nano SIM card tray and a dedicated micro SD card slot. At the bottom, you have the micro USB port, a 3.5mm headphone jack port, and one bottom firing speaker. In terms of speaker quality, I guess it's okay. It can get loud with average amount of bass. Legends from guys like Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, Malone and Stockton, Charles Barkley, and much, much more. However, one of these names have been long and he was a guy who brought so much excitement so much joy to a league that was rapidly growing around the world. Yet, he's only a footnote in NBA history. The man I'm talking about is Sean Kemp, the Rain Man. At the back of the phone, we have the Infinix logo, the words SMART designed by Infinix at the bottom. It also has a rear-mounted fingerprint sensor, which I really prefer since the placement is natural to tap when grabbing the phone. It's hard to rely solely on face scans, especially today, because we always wear masks outside. I'm always a fan of rear-mounted fingerprint scanners. It has a face scan, by the way. Both the fingerprint and the face scan are quick based on my experiences. At the upper left part, you have the dual camera lenses, both with 8 megapixels. At first, I thought this is a triple camera setup, but if you look closely, the bottom lens is not actually a lens, it's just a circle with the word AI. We'll be discussing the cameras in a while with sample photos and videos. The Infinix Smart 5 has a 12 nanometer MediaTek MT6761D Helio A20 processor, which is capable enough to play some games. 
I have experienced lags and frame drops for Mobile Legends and Wild Rift, especially with clashes. This is the actual game test of Mobile Legends with high settings. This is the actual game test of Wild Rift with the maximum settings that you can set. Unfortunately, you won't be able to play Genshin Impact with this phone. Overall, the phone lags at times, but I was kind of expecting that, and you should too. The phone may get hot if you play back-to-back -back games with Mobile Legends and Wild Rift. In terms of benchmark, it scored 124 in single core and 410 in multi-core in Geekbench 5. You also have the option to buy a 2GB of RAM with 32GB of storage variant or a 3GB of RAM with a 64GB of storage variant. I'm going to suggest to buy the 64GB instead since 32 is kind of small for me. The Infinix Mark 5 also has Bluetooth 4.2 and can use 4G for mobile internet. One of the things I loved about this phone is the software. It's running Dolphin 6.2 on top of the Android 10. Dolphin 6.2 is very clean. It's simple and very straightforward. There are a bunch of pre-installed apps, but you can easily uninstall those apps or hide those apps. Because of the Android 10, you have the option to remove the traditional navigation buttons at the bottom and set the gestures instead, which I'm used to. I like the aesthetics of the icons and the settings since it's a mixture of simplicity and playfulness. There's one cool feature I like with this phone. Swipe and hold either from the left or right, you'll be able to open the smart panel, wherein you can do quick actions like opening Facebook, opening selfie camera, opening a specific playlist in Spotify, creating events in Google Calendar, or taking a screenshot or locking the screen. Now let's talk about the cameras. Again, you have two 8 megapixel lenses at the back and one 8 megapixel selfie camera. With lots of natural light, if you're going to take photos at day and you're outside, the photos will be amazing, surprisingly. You have dynamic range, excellent skin color, great contrast, and sharpness. But if all you have is artificial light, the quality will be good but a lot of noise will be visible already. Same goes with the selfie camera. Having lots of natural light takes amazing photos but anything less than that will give you lots of noises and decrease in quality. Oh, one 8 megapixel is for the taking of photos and videos and the other 8 megapixel is only for the bokeh effect. For the video quality, both the selfie and rear cameras can shoot up to 1080p with 30 frames per second. The quality is not really great even with lots of natural light but it's passable I think. The audio quality recorded from the built-in microphone is just okay too. This is a selfie video test of the Infinix Smart 5. How is the video and audio quality of this 1080p 30 frames per second? Comment down below. This is a testing of the rear camera for the video. So how is the audio and video? Comment down below. Do I look like and sound like a potato? Comment down below. In terms of camera modes, you also have the video mode, the AI cam, which is just the normal photo mode, the beauty mode, the bokeh mode, and a panorama. You also have a wide selfie mode, which only works like a panorama for selfie. Lastly, let's talk about the battery. This phone has a big 5000mAh of battery with 10 watts of charging. In my testing, it would easily last you a day even if you play a couple of games, watch some videos, and take some photos and videos. The only problem is the charging time since the battery is huge. It's a 10 watt micro USB charging. Charging speed is not going to be the fastest out there but at least you have your phone that will last a day. In my test, charging from 60 to 90 percent will take you 40 minutes. Overall, for the price, this is a good buy for me. You have a good screen, a battery that will last you a day, a processor that's enough for basic stuff, and a camera that's capable especially with great amount of light. What can you say about this Infinix Smart 5? Comment down below. If you also have this phone, comment down below what you like most about this phone. So that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Coco Martech. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Keep safe. Bye-bye.